Hi guys. If you've been following me on social media, then you know already that I've been loving um, creating my own embellishments. Um, the altered paper clips, the tags, um, sewn embellish, all kinds of things. I'm really enjoying making my own right now and um, whether it's uh, printing things and then making stickers out of them some of which are available, yes, in my Etsy shop. Or it is using my rubber stamp line to stamp images on paper, color them and cut them out. Um, using some of my homemade stamps, and this just is one that I grabbed, but I do my stamps from my rubber stamp line and I print them on old book paper. Uh, yesterday I filmed a bit with a bunch of dictionary paper, hang on, and did the DIY glassine uh, paper thing from Nick the Booksmith. I not only printed some um, images I had from my old scrapbooking library of digital images, but I did some of my own images. Totally cool. Um, but I'm also just enjoying making sort of small um, doodled embellishments um, digitally or I sometimes do them on paper and then scan the paper. Um, I'm going to show you first what I do digitally. Um, not all of you are going to have access to something like this or be able to do this, um, but if you have an iPad Pro or similar device um, and a pencil, then um, you can definitely do this. I use Procreate and this is my Apple Pencil and the first thing I, 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 right now I'm really into circles. I don't know why, but that's just, you know. So the first thing I do is I go here and I change my pen. There's a bunch of different fun sort of pen textury things in here that I've sort of been playing with. Um, all different kinds. Ooh, corrugated, let's try that. And then I will go change my ink color. Let's do maybe a purple. And then, yeah, there we go. Okay. Then I'll go change my brush again. Um, I think this is the one I used last time, which I thought was really cool. Let's do a blue. I don't know that's a different one, but that's really cool. And then let's see what other brushes we have. Ooh, flower power. Oh, that's funny. And then let's pick another color. Maybe a green. Let's see. Ooh, yeah. So if you don't like the placement, hit the undo. I usually finish with black and then I go to a really fine inking and then usually the fine tip and you can do words around the edge or you can do which I did on this one I did words around oops there we go words around the edge I didn't turn on my LED light sorry um, you can do just circles doodles dashes do you do anything I'm gonna try let's see if I like this the thing is, if I don't like it, I can hit undo. It's not like paint and a pen, where if you don't like it, then you're stuck. So you just hit undo, and then you could like write words. Or scribble. Which right now, honestly, I'm really into the scribbly writing. I, I have no idea why. I don't question these things. 
and then I save it and I download it to my desktop and then I print it on sticker paper or printer paper or dictionary pages or something like that. And that's a really um, fun way to make a digital copy of a um, unique embellishment that you can use for your artwork. I really actually like that one. So then I go to the wrench and then JPEG and then save image. And I'm all, I have all Apple products, so when I do that, it takes like a minute, and then it syncs to all the other devices, so it's automatically going to be on the computer. Right. Um, okay, so anyway, here, these are just scraps of like paper. I think they might be mixed media paper. I honestly don't remember. Um, and then I have got some paint. Now, if you're going to do it with paint the old-fashioned way, use what you have. I prefer to use some sort of matte paint, some sort of matte acrylic paint. This is the Blick Matte Acrylic. You also could use the acrylic gouache. You don't have to get super fancy with it. Just grab a brush. I'm just gonna grab a flat brush and I'm gonna pick a color. Let's see, let's, should we actually use a palette rather than the lid of the, <laughs> probably, rather than the lid of the paint? So then, once you have your paint colors, let's go this way a little bit. Pick a color. It's not rocket science, and they don't have to be perfect. The ones on the iPad weren't. I like them when they're irregular. It suits me better. Then I always have like some newsprint. I don't know that you can see it here on camera. This is a pad of newsprint from Muji. And I can just do that. I'm gonna take another card. And do some that are green and then once these are dry and they're all doodled the way you want and you're happy with them scan them and turn them into a digital file now if you don't have a scanner um, as part of your computer setup that's totally okay um, you probably can take it to one of your office supply stores and have them scan it for you you can also take a picture of it with your smartphone there's always a way around not having tools and equipment without spending a ton of money. So you see what I'm doing? I'm just making marks with the other colors of paint, using up what's on the palette. Yep. I've got a number of these scrap pieces of paper, so it's time to get used up. Now, of course, you could do this and you could, op you could bypass the whole option of scanning it and just use these originals. Let them dry, doodle on them, embellish them, and then cut them up just the way they are. There is nothing wrong with that, and I did that. I've done that a lot. Just making marks. You could do this with paint and stamps, paint and other mark making tools. Think outside the box and see what you have. Honestly, I'm too lazy to get up and grab anything else, so we're going to just use what I have in front of me. This is also a great way to use up your scraps. And just to, this is on it, its own, it could be an embellishment, but it also could be used to layer, you know, you cut one of these out and you lay it on some of this stamped book text. How cool is that? I know there's a lot of YouTubers out there who have videos and videos and videos on making your own embellishments. If you guys have a favorite, I would love for you to leave the channel in the comments below. And if you have any trouble doing that, DM me and um, I will link it in the video description. I'm going to let these dry and then we're going to do some more doodling on them. So I will be right back. Okay, I went and had lunch. Things are dry. If you hear a crinkling plastic noise <laughs> like that, it's because I'm sitting on some polymer clay to warm it up a bit. Because after this, I want to do some work with some clay. Yeah, anyway, <laughs> um, so uh, we're going to um, finish these and um, I've got some colored mechanical pencils, some paint pens, a ballpoint pen, a multi pen, a uniball signo. I also have a few um, colored pencils. So we're going to just have a play and I'm going to finish doodling on these and show you what I do and how I do it. and. I'm going to speed forward through this part of the process and I'll be right back.
Okay, there you go. <clears throat> Shaky camera, sorry. So when you, whether you make them digitally or you actually paint them on a piece of paper, I think these kind of embellishments are great to have laying around. Um, whether you do like I do and copy them or not, or you just paint a bunch of them, have them cut out and in a drawer somewhere and then keep painting them. It doesn't matter how you do it or how you accomplish it, accomplish it. You can even do them out of these sort of wipe off brush papers. Um, they are great to have around and how much fun is it when you create a piece and somebody says, oh, where did you get those cute little dots from? Oh, I made them. So I think that's fabulous. So I want you guys um, this month to go out and make your own embellishments. I'd love to see your favorite inspirational videos for making them. I'd love to see what um, different things that you're doing with making your own embellishments. Please come share it over in my Facebook group, A Life of Art and Self-Expression. And let's inspire each other with the homemade embellishments thing, shall we? All right, that's it for today. Um, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. If you want to follow me on social media and see what kind of art I get up to every day, because I do do some kind of art or something every day, um, or you want to support the free content here on YouTube or over in the Facebook groups, then there is a link in the description below um, that start, says Linktree and then my name. Click on that link and you're going to find a list of different places you can find me on the internet, including all of the social media stuff, my website, the Facebook groups and more, and um, the Etsy shop, the Amazon affiliate store, all of that stuff. So go check it out. My happy mail is down, address is down there too. You're not obligated, but if you show, so choose. Um, and that's it for today. Go out and have a great day, everybody. Do something nice for yourself. Make some embellishments and have a great day because you deserve it. See you later. Bye, guys.